let's listen to Lori Vallow Daybell. She's going to give us some of her wisdom, okay? Everybody listen. Everybody listen. Lori Vallow Daybell is, is speaking. Since then, I have had many communications from people now living in heaven, including my children, Tylee Ashland and Joshua Jackson, my sisters, Stacy and Lolly, my aunts and my uncles, and my grandparents. Okay, so that's Lori Vallow. She used her pussy power to get Chad Daybell to kill her two kids and to kill his, uh, I guess, ex-wife now. I think it was his wife at the time, but she's the mistress. She is the home wrecker. And boy, did she wreck the fuck out of the homes. Wrecked her home, wrecked his home, wrecked the neighbor's home, wrecked the entire goddamn. So what she is saying right here is that even though she had Chad Daybell kill her two kids and Tammy, well, she's talking to her two kids, Josh Jackson and Tylee and Tammy. Oh, they're talking to each other. They're best friends. They put their arms around her. They say everything's going to be okay. They're very busy and they're very happy in heaven. So, and then even Joshua Jackson is an adult and a whole bunch of uh, absolute, insane, crazy, fucked up, bullshit nonsense. I've had many communications with Jesus Christ, the Savior of this world, and our heavenly parents. I've had many angelic visitors have come and communicated with me and even manifested themselves to me. Because of these communications, I know for a fact that my children are happy and busy in the spirit world. Because of my communications with my friend Tammy Daybell, I know that she is also very happy and extremely busy. I have always mourned the loss of my loved ones, and I have lost many in this mortal world. However, I know them more than most people. I know where they are now and what they're doing. I know how wonderful heaven is, and I'm homesick for it every single day. So she knows how wonderful heaven is, and she's homesick for it every single day. Every day she's homesick to 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 die and then go on to the next region, just like those Hell Bob Comet motherfuckers. Those Hell Bob the Hell Bob Comet came by in what nineteen ninety six or something, and those people committed mass suicide because their spirits were gonna go up into the heavens and then get on to that comet and then just keep on going. In a way, I guess they're historical, but we have to we survivors that would have to remember any of that shit. And it's just your story. No, you're dead. You're, you're, if you die, you're dead and you're dead and gone forever. And her children are dead and gone forever. And Tammy is gone forever. And you didn't talk to any of those people. You're making all this dumb shit up. And uh, I wonder how long has she been talking this fucking crazy talk? But that sounds religious. I've heard that talk growing up. Bunch of Catholic, Christian motherfuckers. We need to, but we got to ban Christianity. We got to get rid of this fucking religion. And I guess you're allowed to have freedom of religion if you just stay over there and don't fucking bother anybody. But th this is bullshit. This is like the worst fucking... I feel like child abusers are one of the worst people, but a, a person that kills their own child? Holy fucking shit. You know oppressors, the heart of an oppressor is to kill the child. That's the point. The heart of the oppressor is to kill that which they oppress. So Tammy Daybell is very happy and very busy, she says, getting a bunch done up in heaven. Don't worry, everybody. She's up in the clouds. You can't see them. There's no evidence of any of this shit. She's absolutely off her fucking rocker. She's the most insane nut job on the fucking planet. I'm not into institutions and shit, but I'm like, oh, we need an asylum for this one. This one, we need an Arkham Asylum. She needs to be there with the Joker and all the... There's absolutely no evidence for heaven or hell. Religion's a ton of lying bullshit. You're just making up a bunch of shit. You just like acting a fucking fool. Tammy and her went to heaven in 2005. Yeah, along with Tupac and Bob Marley and Chris Farley and Michael Faraday. She was in heaven and she left her children on earth. Then Jesus told her that she needed to finish some jobs. Heaven was her real home. But Jesus sent her back to Texas to fix that nation, state, republic, that backwards ass she was in heaven, and she left her children on earth, but she said she felt bad. So actually, no, no, you don't, you guys don't understand. She was already in heaven, and so she went down to get her children to go to heaven too, right? Quote, unquote, go to heaven. 
And then once she helped her children get to heaven, and now it's up for her to get to heaven, and she can't wait for the glorious, the glorious, uh, you know, some respects, justice is eye for an eye. So it's like, why did they give her capital punishment? But you know what? Life in prison, life in prison is a great punishment. That's a great punishment. She trapped those kids with her fucking nonsense and her fucking dumbass bullshit. And then she said that they were zombies. Were they zombies? Maybe she turned them into zombies with her bullshit and her fucking oppression. By her being in prison, now she'll know what it's like to be trapped and treated with contempt and to be shitted on and to be oppressed. Now shut the fuck up. Do this. Do that. The prison is exactly what she needs. She is crazy. She is nuts. And good thing Idaho doesn't have a insanity defense. Because they might let her get away with killing her kids. No, no, no. Hey, white females of America, you're not allowed to murder your kids. You can't murder your kids. You can't use your pussy power to get that new man who likes how you look to kill your his wife and to kill your kids. You're not allowed to do that. That's wrong. That is bad. Don't you have the Ten Commandments to do unto others? You guys just fucking pretend to believe in fucking... I used to think Christianity, it was like, I hated devil worshipers because Christianity at least knew to worship goodness. Do you know that you're supposed to worship goodness? Fuck you religious bitches. I want to know if you actually are good or not. And if you're good, tell me how you're good. I want to know how you're good. Do you have a good mentality? Do you, do you have virtues? When you wake up in the morning, what are the thoughts that go through your head? Lori Vallow going to jail is a great punishment. It's a great punishment. The rights of man, Tommy Jefferson. What was it that Tommy Jefferson said? Tommy Jefferson, he had said in the rights of man that we have the right to life, liberty, and property and to resist oppression. Resistance resistance to tyranny is obedience to God. No, you're not going to listen to any fucking man here on this planet. You're going to be free. And where did that freedom and liberty come from? Well, that came from God because in the state of nature, you already had the ability to be Free. All you had to do is reason it out or ration it out. You have a right to go drink some water. You have a right to live in the state of nature. You have a right to resist oppression. That fucking tiger wants to boss you around like you ain't shit. No tiger. No. No lion. No giraffe. I'm not going to fuck you. I'm not going to do what you tell me, giraffe. I'm not going to do what you tell me, you goddamn giraffe. Let's listen to some more of this, this God-fearing woman. You know, that's what we need is more God-fearing women. And you know, it's that's that's really the downfall of America is when we took the Easter Bunny out of the hamburger store. When we took the Easter Bunny out of the hamburger store, that was all she wrote. What are you saying right now? Well, the Easter Bunny is fictional bullshit, so I'm making a... Taking the Easter Bunny out of the hamburger store. What the fuck is the Easter Bunny doing in the hamburger store? I just want some cheeseburgers and some goddamn lemonade. Fuck you, take your goddamn Easter Bunny and throw it, shove it up your ass, you motherfucker. We were all in heaven before we were born on earth. Okay, psycho. We chose to come to earth as mortals. We chose to come to earth? I, this is a bunch of horse shit. Now, we've been here for about, let's see, a couple thousand years that we know written record. We've been here decades, tens of thousands. There was dinosaurs. Existence has been... I was a young mother, and you would think I wouldn't want to leave my children, but as I stood in heaven... See, you I did want to leave your kids, though, didn't you? You didn't want your kids around anymore. You got tired of... They were a bunch of... They was anchors. You didn't realize having kids, you had to talk to them and nurture them and feed them, make sure they had water, make sure they had their Maslow's hierarchy of human needs, make sure they had their basic human needs met. You didn't want to do all that work, you lazy pile of shit. You didn't want to talk to your kids, you pile of shit. You didn't give a fuck about their psychology. You're just fucking brainwashing them with your fucking bullshit. You scrambled their brains every fucking day, and then you wondered why they look like zombies to you. Maybe because you scrambled their brains every fucking day? Kylie has visited me. She is happy. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Your daughter is happy being dead. No, your daughter wants to live, you fucking motherfucker. She wants to have a house and a career, husband, and raise a family. And then while she's raising a family, have a little barbecue, light a couple fireworks. Well, she screamed in pain when the morphine wasn't even enough to take away the pain of her pancreatitis. I sat there while she cried and I held back her hair while she threw up. So was it her pain that you were trying to get rid of or your pain of having to deal with her pain? How much Tyler suffered in her life. She had pain every single day. Every single day. Is that why you alleviated that pain? She was having pain every single day because you're a piece of shit and you're scrambling her fucking brain. That's why she had all that pain. But then she created the mess. They fucking gouge out our eyes and reproach us for our blindness. Sexually abused by her own biological father since she was three years old. And she was forced by family court to go visit him for ten years against her will. That's the only decent thing she said. Or interesting thing. Decent. That's the only thing that she said that I tried to protect is actually good for her defense. We'll we'll give her a, we'll give her a benefit of the doubt there. So what she just said was that her biological father had molested her. And then she had to go back to the father for another 10 fucking years to keep on getting abused. Why? Because family court, they know best. Father knows best. Family court knows best. So that has to be painful. That has to be incredibly, you know, super fucked up. But the solution isn't to kill the kid, the solution is to get your child free, not to murder them, to get them out of that house, to get them up and running. She's what? The, the girl only had five more years before she got to be an adult. Then she could go live where she wanted to live. She wouldn't have to listen to the goddamn court. If you're committed to your child's life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness, if you're committed to your life, your child's that's fucked up. I mean, that's fucked up that that happened. So she's right that she had pain. And she had pain for a whole bunch of years. So it was oppression like no other. For 10 years, the court made her go to her child molester for another 10 fucking years. Another 10 fucking years. Why would the court do that, America? Huh? So that's fucked up that the court did that. That's fucked up. The dollar, the, the father, the fucking so-called fucking father's a fucking fucked up pervert, a fucking piece of shit. She's right that that's fucked up. And then she's right that that brought her pain, her daughter pain. But she's wrong to think that killing her kid is the fucking solution. Help her escape. Tell her to stay inside her room. You know, tell her to, you know, record the damn thing. And then expose the bastard. Get evidence. Give her options. We are as happy as our options. All right, let's finish this up. I worried about her every single day. Kylie had to get her GED because she couldn't go to school every day because she never felt good. She felt sick. Nobody knows this because Tylee, like myself, tries to put on a good front. Tries to be. She's a, just like Tylee. Tries to have hope in life. Tries to know that she's here for a purpose. She tries to have hope in life and thinks that life is. I she's here for a purpose. Worrying about her. One of the times that Tylee came to me as a spirit after. Yeah, she's you know cuckoo for cocoa puffs. She is an absolute nut job. That's absolutely crystal clear. I mean, if you're not committed to goodness, then at least you read the preamble, right, America? Everywhere you see, everywhere, it's freedom and democracy. The entire world thinks that's what we're about. We believe in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Life, liberty, and property. Life, liberty, and property, and to resist oppression. That's the rights of man, to resist oppression. Even the stupid Pledge of Allegiance ends off with freedom and justice for all. Freedom? And justice for everybody in America? No. No, that's not what happens in America. We don't give a damn about peace or the truth. We don't give a shit about justice. Where the fuck is freedom and justice for all? In this country? 
We need Cornell West to become president just so we can get truth and justice back into the mainstream. Bunch of lying ass fucking asshole fucking criminal motherfuckers. These fascist bastards. We need Cornell West's ethics and virtues. America, you're a bunch of shitty, selfish piles of shit. And you, I would say you need Jesus, but no, you need Cornell West. And he think, I think he might be a Christian. So you need Cornell West as Jesus. And actually, you need Cornell West. He comes from the Black Freedom Movement. That's more important to me. Maybe we need to have a punch of fascist day. We need to get rid of criminals, the pedophiles, the rapists, and the murderers, definitely. But these white supremacists, these Nazi Confederate fucking KKK motherfuckers, we don't need those people here in this great nation. Protect their speech as Julian Assange languishes in jail and Edward Snowden has to live in Putin's outhouse. Fucking oppressor molester. Fuck a fascist bastard. Fucking knows those chomo sons of British whores. Am I the only person in America who knows the preamble of America's constitution? What is America here for? We're here to form a more perfect union. We the people are here to establish justice. We the people are here to promote the domestic tranquility. To provide for the common defense. To promote the general welfare. Of course we care about the welfare of other people. The domestic tranquility. Of course we care about peace in the neighborhood. To provide for the common defense. If we have good police. Or let's just have crime fighters. Let's just have minute men. We have a bunch of citizens. And when there's a criminal, then we all alert each other, and then we go and get that bastard. And to protect our civil liberties, our freedoms. That's the point of America. That's the preamble of Colorado as well. She said she was homesick for heaven because it's just so great. And she knows that JJ and Tylee were in heaven. Tylee even put her arm around Lori Vallow. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, we all got imaginations, and we can pretend that we're, you know, Talking to the dead and talking to the ancestors and talking to the old people. I was talking to Teresa Grip server. There's a Native American saying, when you say the person's name, they're still alive to the earth. But that and that has to be the survivor. The survivor has to remember that person. And then they got to say that person's name. That's how to the earth they're still alive. Lori Vallow is a psychotic motherfucker. She is a psychotic motherfucker. Fuck you, religious piles of shit. So... Get rid of the fucking white supremacists. Get rid of the fucking criminals. Get rid of the fucking confederates. And get rid of the fucking religious motherfucking piles of shit. Fuck your bullshit. And if it's freedom of religion, fine. Do your religion over there. But I'm going to fucking make fun of you, you piece of shit. You Fuck you, you dumbass piles of shit. When I was growing up, I actually listened to Jesus Christ. Turn the other cheek so they could keep on hitting you. Turn the other cheek so they could rob and rape you. Turn the other cheek so they could take anything and everything. Fuck a religious motherfucker. Me being like Jesus didn't impress any of you all. Do unto others as you would want them to do unto, unto you. You ever heard of that? Michael Gonzalez never heard of the golden rule. But it's logical. You treat others the way you want to be treated. If Michael was in my neighborhood and people were shooting at him and murdered his dog and shit, I would tell the cops, hey, why don't you investigate? I would investigate myself. And I would tell the cops to go investigate and the DA to and the DA investigate. I would tell them all. Because if I'm the chief judge, I want to make sure that there's peace in the Middle East. I want to make sure there's domestic tranquility. That we're caring about the general welfare of everybody. And I want to establish justice. Do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. Michael Gonzalez does not believe in the golden rule whatsoever. That's why he thinks it's okay Samuel Jepson can try to murder people. That's fine and dandy. And people could come by and murder your fucking puppies. Rape the shit out of your puppy's life. That's what Michael Gonzalez is all about. It, eye for an eye is justice. And doing unto others as you want them to do unto you, it's logical. It's logical. A lot of Christianity is bullshit. But those are like some of the few good things. Thou should not steal. Thou should not kill. Do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. Eye for an eye is justice. But Christians aren't even fucking listening to their own share. They're picking all the bad stuff. They worship evil. They have, they're a psychopath. They're just kissing their daddy's ass. Daddy beat the shit out of them or maybe mama to make sure they believe this dumb shit because you got to use child abuse to make sure they believe in dumbass bullshit. They're worshiping evil. And we don't need devil worshipers. We don't need people who worship evil. We need good people. And you need to worship goodness. 
I want folks to worship goodness, especially treat your neighbors like you'd want to be treated yourself. All the Ten Commandments was basically saying, don't covet your neighbor's mule. Don't covet your neighbor's wife. Don't covet your neighbor's house and other shit. I'm pulling for your neighbor. I want you to keep all your stuff and maybe get some more stuff, you know? I want folks to worship goodness. Read America's preamble, you fucking pieces of shit. You American pieces of shit. Read your fucking preamble to your own constitution. That's brilliant because we believe in federalism, right? We believe in freedom and democracy, three branches of government, the Bill of Rights, and a constitution. We're trying to fight tyranny here. So overall, we love unions, and we love justice, and we love domestic tranquility. Of course, you're an American. How? Why would you not want to be domestic tranquility? Think about that. Everybody in the community is just happy and content, fat and happy and content. That's where we want to be. So Lori Vallow says, Jesus knows me. Jesus understands me. I will mourn with all of you who mourn with JJ and Tylee and Tammy. Yeah, okay, Lori Vallow. That piece of shit's a selfish piece of shit. She's wicked as fuck. She has no ethics, no soul. She didn't read any of the laws. She has no code of her, for her own, and she wasn't listening to the code of Idaho. She was a wicked piece of shit. Why would wicked pieces... If you're a good person, watch out for wicked motherfuckers because you'll say their wickedness is good. You'll put your goodness on the wicked. If you're a good person, watch out for these wicked motherfuckers. Jesus knows me. Jesus understands me. And Jesus Christ knows the truth of what happened here. You can tell us what the fuck happened. She didn't even testify, did she? That's the only goddamn time she fucking said a goddamn word. You're mourning with all of us. She says accidental deaths happen, suicides happen, and fatal side effects from medications happen. Or it accidentally happens. You made it look like an accident. You made it look like a suicide. You made it look like it was a fatal side effect. You know, accidental deaths happen. Why? They found the bodies of the two children in the yard of Chad Daybell. There's no disputing that Ch Chad Daybell, the woman that she was with in Hawaii when they were vacationing, there's no disputing that her and Chad had killed those kids. And I wonder how his trial is going to go because he's a man. And we're going to spare her life, which is interesting. We thought about sparing the life of that Mary Surratt. Why did we do that? You had that fucking McDonald, that fucking Suzanne, Samantha McDonald. She didn't get in trouble for the child abuse. Accidental deaths happen. Suicides happen. When Mary Surratt did conspire to kill Lincoln, they said, hey, she's a white woman. We can't kill her. And the next president thought about it. Andrew Johnson was like, well, shit, you know, yeah, we're supposed to care about, you know, women and children. That's how we always say, like, whenever there's Native Americans versus Caucasians, the Native Americans were just vicious savages who didn't respect women and children, but the Caucasians, well, they were, were respecting women and children. That's what they say. But that's not happened. Custer's last stand. You know how Custer went after the Native Americans? He went to capture the women and children first and then try to get the warriors to come to him. Wow, talk about a coward motherfucker. And that's what happened at the Mystic River Massacre, too. The English went and killed all the old people, women and children, while the warriors were out and about. So that's fucking, that's hypocrisy. Don't tell me that bullshit. So, eye for an eye is justice. You and Chad killed those two kids. You and Chad killed Tammy Daybell. Maybe Chad did it by himself. And then there's another death, too. Her brother got killed. And then there's another death that her ex-husband had got killed, too. So there's five fucking dead bodies that's already out here. And they're talking about, you know, going to another fucking state and doing another trial. Life in prison. How much more life in prison? Maybe another state could give her capital punishment. So maybe there would be some possible benefit of having another trial for the other two deaths. There's more than just the two kids and Tammy. There's also her brother and then there is uh, uh, her one of her ex-husbands. And I wonder if it was that first husband because she had like three or four husbands and no telling how many boyfriends. 
Lori Vallow said she had died in the hospital back in 2005 or something, 2002, 2005. Somebody had put something in her IV. And then they tried to stop her labor. What they put in her IV? Just some pain medication? The IV itself is just plasma. I mean, it's not that's not blood. Tried to stop her labor and she felt her spirit fall onto the floor. And then she was standing next to her pregnant body as they tried to revive her. I remember watching Ghost. I remember watching Richard Dreyfuss was in a movie called Ghost. No, not Ghost. He was in a movie called Always. Ghost was the same thing too. And Ghost, you know, he thought he was a real person and he tried to shake hands and then he walked through the door. And then in Always, the one guy had died and then he was a spirit next to the spirit. Then the guy was revived and he goes, you made it. And then the guy was gone. So, you know, that's fun to think about. But you're an adult and you're a, you're a mother. Yeah, you need to write a thousand word page paper about why you think you get to be a mother. You're going to make them, you're going to make them do dishes and make them goddamn do all of your tobacco because you're lazy and you're poor. And then you're going to shove green beans up their ass because you don't have the same taste buds. They don't have the same taste buds as you. Now you're a bad person. You're a bad person. You need to write a thousand word page, thousand page paper about how you, you should be allowed to have children. Just anybody and everybody could, everybody's fucking. But it's like all the wrong people. And then they're not even taking care of their own kids. She says she's got access to heaven in the spirit world. Wow. What an amazing gift. So you're a fucking psycho making up a bunch of shit. Well, then I died and I went to heaven and I was looking down on everybody. And then I was like, well, I guess I got to go back. And then I went back. And then and then when I came back, you know, it was like, God, I'm back here on stupid earth. I can't wait. I'm homesick. I want to go back to my heaven well, at least I got access to it. And I'll let you guys know, heaven is so great. Heaven in the spirit world, my God, it is so great. Life is great. Earth is all we got. Life here on this planet is all we got. You're talking nonsense, you stupid motherfucker. Tylee and Joshua Jackson are talking to her. Her children in heaven are talking to her. There's no heaven. And they're dead. And they're dead as a doornail. And they're never coming back. They're dirt. They're dust. They're nothing. From dust to dust. They're nothing. They wanted to live. They wanted to have a, a nice long life. She's clearly a nut job. Arkham Asylum. We need that. We chose to come to earth as mortals. Heaven is so great. Earth is crap. You're stupid. You're stupid. She says she doesn't fear death. She's looking forward to death. Huh? Looking forward to death. So maybe... Maybe if she's looking forward to death, maybe she killed her kids. So that way, this is suicide by the system, like suicide by the cop, suicide by the system. She got Chad Daybell. You know how she got Chad Daybell to kill her own two kids? And I'm actually willing to give her that. Chad Daybell killed his wife and Chad Daybell killed her two kids. But how did she get Chad Daybell to do that? Well, she's got that pussy power. Lori Vallow talked about her secret power. Pussy control. Isn't that what Prince said? You got pussy control? I'd like to know the details of how it went down. How did he and she do this shit? You got a right to remain silent? Tell us the fucking truth, you pieces of shit. We know you fucking did it. You was a fucking twat, and you were just being a whore, and you was like, hey, if you want to have sex with this pussy, then you better kill this person and that person and the other person. And Chad Dabo was just so goddamn drunk on that pussy he was like, pussy, pussy, pussy. What? Kill some kids? Fine. Done. Kill the wife? No fucking problem. You want me to shoot and kill somebody else, Lori Vallow? It's all about motherfucking Christianity. That's what Jesus said. I don't remember. I remember Jesus feeding the multitude with bread. I remember Jesus walking on water. I don't remember Jesus using his pussy power to get some man to kill your own children. I don't remember that part in the Bible. I don't remember that part in the Bible at all. I want to know exactly what happened because maybe she was there. You know, I'm I'm still pretending that she didn't do it. He did it. And maybe she did it and just buried it in his yard. Got him to fucking cover up the details. Maybe she did the whole goddamn thing. Mary Surratt killed the president. We're still like, well, should we punish her? She's still a woman. And the thing was, the reason why Andrew Johnson said we need to go ahead and execute Mary Surratt, a co-conspirator of the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, is because if you don't, then the men will just get the women to commit the crimes. 
the men will get the women to commit the crimes. And since you're not going to punish the women, then they'll just get away with their crimes. Is that what we want? 